Um, but Carl, just to touch on as well, you know, obviously you're not teaching at the minute, but what what are your thoughts there? I know you're a primary school teacher, but just the leaving certificate and just there's so much uncertainty regarding the school term. Like we'll say, we know you're not Minister for Education, but if you were, what would you do in this instance? Yeah, so I've had quite a few chats with people today on this. Um, if I'm honest with you, a week ago, I had a very hard line position on it. I felt that the Leaving Cert should happen, has to happen, happens every year. I, I don't ever remember a year where we didn't have Leaving Cert. I think third level uh, colleges demand a benchmark of attainment. You know, you need to reach a certain standard to get into third level. So there's all of that and there's all the preparation that's going in over a two year Leaving Cert cycle. It will be a waste to throw it away. But um, just today, I had a few calls and emails, uh, and I had more over the weekend from students and teachers who say that if they end up with an August leaving cert, that effectively becomes a 12 month academic year. There's huge mental strain on uh, these youngsters trying to keep you know, a peak performance academically to get to that exam point. Um, it's very hard to maintain it. And even there isn't any certainty it'll happen in late July or August. So. The point is made to me as well by another Leaving Cert student that her parents, you know, have only budgeted a certain amount of money for getting her to college and her accommodation. She was going to be fully relying on working three months over the summer to, to build up a bit of a war chest of money to take her to her first year in college. That, that can't happen now either. So I suppose my, my, my position on it has changed a little bit. But I think is we are, as a country, in a state of lockdown. I know the teacher doesn't like calling it lockdown, but it is a lockdown of sorts until the first week of May. I think the right decision for the Minister of Education would be when we get to that first week of May to evaluate you know, what's ahead of us at that point. And it may have to come down to cancelling leaving cert, looking at aggregating scores from the, the mock leaving cert and Christmas exams. But I think if, if the curve we keep talking about, if that's continuing to flatten, if we're getting down to low levels of contagion, I think then they need to set it in stone insofar as possible that we will have a leaving cert. The students out there really want certainty. I saw the poll conducted in St. Cayman School. It's the uncertainty that's killing them at the moment. So I think when we get to early May, I think the minister needs to call it at that point um, for everyone's sake. And as well, Cahal, your ex-colleagues in Partine National School and all their counterparts in primary schools around the county in the country, they're finding it difficult as well. I can only imagine to be constantly, I know they have two weeks for Easter, but just to be able to look online, they're like yourself now that your phone or the email could be going the whole time. So it's, it's very difficult for a lot of people in, in a number of different industries. Yeah, it's very difficult. And I, I, I certainly know I'm, I'm, I'm in constant daily contact with uh, my old teacher colleagues and friends. Does not one of them look for sympathy anyway? I think they look there, the, the job is totally different to what it was a few weeks ago. But they're putting up content uh, quite regularly so that students from home can check in. But um, look, I think in that regard, teachers are doing a good job. But let's, you know, let's be clear on this they have it a hell of a lot easier than someone who's going out there, uh, going into one of our hospitals, putting down 12, a 12 hour shift there. So, uh, What's also been really interesting, and I, I saw Minister Simon Harris reflect on this the other night on, on Twitter, is that um, you know there are so many other people in our economy uh, that are now the work they're doing is even more valued than ever. The hauliers, those trucks that pull up in Tesco and Aldi at night time and, and offload those groceries you need. The primary food producers or farmers. I hope farmers will be uh, really valued far more. I suppose when we come out of this process. Um, our frontline, you know, it's not just the frontline people at the moment. There's so many people. Um, they're doing really difficult work. Uh, they have, like me, they've they've kids maybe locked to the other side of a door or put out to the garden. Um, but but look, people have had to modify how they live. Uh, and I think I said yesterday on Twitter, I would rather see thousands of people metaphorically die of boredom than to see a few dozen people die of respiratory failure. So I think it's important that, you know, w someone in on BBC the other evening said, this is like the Blitz when bombs were raining in London and, you know, people hiding in shelters at night. It's nothing like that. Most people in Ireland, myself included, we've been asked to stay at home. We're, you know, in fairly comfortable surroundings. We're, we've adapted how we work. And by night time when dinner's cooked, we can sit down and watch Netflix. Our way of, of playing our parts in the emergency is actually to stay at home. Uh, so, you know, it does get tedious after a while, but um, look, 
dying of boredom isn't uh, the worst thing. It, the, the main thing is here that the people of Clare, all 120,000 of them, come out of this in the best possible shape insofar as their health is concerned. And right now, I think we're playing a pretty good part. Uh, our beaches seem to be being pretty empty the last few weekends. Uh, same with our forest parks in Cratlow, etc. So look, what needs to be done is being done. There's another few weeks probably of that you know, pain, but it's pain with a, a lowercase p. Uh, and I think it'll all be worthwhile. We haven't had this spike that people have been talking about. We may not get a spike of COVID-19. It may just continue to be this kind of a, a mid-level plateau. Uh, but regardless, I think what the people of Clare are doing right now is, is paying dividends. And um, I don't mind working from home. I, I, eventually, I do want to uh, be up in the doll getting my teeth into it. But for now, look, these are small sacrifices in, in the public interest that we all have good, good health, I think, coming out of your side. That's perfect, Cahill. Thanks very much. We'll let you unlock the door and bring the kids in from the garden. Thanks very much for joining us. Thanks, buddy. Thanks again. Thank you. Bye-bye.